Hello and welcome to this little tutorial I create to uh, teach how to mm, reproduce this uh, figure uh, not uh, <coughs> adding some uh, effect color effect a uh, metal effect a uh, pastel effect and a neon glowing uh, effect so let's start first of all we set a starting point by clicking and dragging here to bring guides here snapping uh, the center of the object we are about to create uh, to the guides we have just created and then we can start um, by uh, drawing a triangle so start uh, and polygon tools select polygon three corners and then we go on the center point and uh, uh, keeping shift and uh, control on Mac uh, press it we can go up uh, control allows us to uh, draw vertically this knot okay this is our uh, triangle seems okay we can exit from this figure by clicking spacebar okay this is our uh, starting uh, um, starting figure we can now uh, convert this object to path using object to path function in path menu is this click it uh, then um, we have to perform some operations so on the cusp nodes of the triangle but before doing this we have to create some other guideline to make our um, action um, as sharp as, as possible first of all click and drag uh, on okay ensure that the snap cusp nodes X, uh, is activated and then click and drag a guide on this uh, on the base uh, nodes okay this will 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 allow us to uh, handle the knots of the nodes uh, exactly uh, when we uh, manipulate it. Uh, then we have to draw also an hexagon <coughs> as a reference figure on the center and shift control. Okay. Oops. Okay. Here, uh, we have to change the color. Uh, okay, yellow will be good enough. Then mm, we can keep this as g as a get line to add lines here. Uh, shift press it and. Uh, hovering uh, with the cursor on the guide we can rotate from the uh, rotation point of the guide we have set here still do it again here and here of course we have to repeat this operation from the other from the other side to the other side of the hexagon the reason of this uh, doing this will be clear further in uh, the tutorial okay now is enough we can uh, delete our hexagon and then we can start to manipulate the nodes of this uh, drawing okay edit uh, nodes click on the upper node this is a cusp node because it is made as a diamond uh, control key press it and click with the left mouse button once create a um, smooth node I uh, curve node and then a smooth mode and the third time we uh, we press the mouse button create a symmetrical um, node click and drag one on the handle ok 
okay and then we have to do this uh, 180 degrees rotation of the handle that's why we put all this uh, guides because we have to repeat the operation with the other three uh, uh, other two nodes first second third this is this auto smooth corner fourth okay now as we can see this guide is oriented to be perpendicular to this guides so make a complete rotation and then snap here and one two three again in all this operation we maintain control key pressed this allows us to uh, rotate uh, by 15 degrees each uh, each time to to um, step to 15 degrees step now we have uh, complete the first step uh, of creation our basic knot uh, this is we can over on the guide and press cancel or delete button to remove our reference a part of the very first to create guide created our center point maintain um, our reference is better now okay we select our object we have to perform an operation here is to um, uh, enlarge the stroke we have one pixel stroke we can um, enlarge the stroke and this will be the final um, dimension of the uh, node of this uh, path so uh, we ha can define this point how uh, wide is our tube here so say uh, 30 okay if we are no maybe so much maybe so much uh, 20 okay better we accept okay I strangely and capacity is 81 percent uh, uh, don't mind a fix on uh, the full opaque peak uh, now the, um, we have now to uh, make uh, one copy for each color we want to put uh, on this um, on this figure or better better uh, one copy for every branch of the knot we have so the, we already have the, the, the first copy we have to do another copy put uh, with um, yellow color oops okay have to remove the fill another control D to, to duplicate another time and using a green color okay proceed by manipulating the nodes uh, edit path by node to okay now the operation we are about to perform is to delete uh, for every copy we have created one of the uh, node of course not the same node for the three copies uh, a different node for every copies to say let's s mm, perform the first operation operation on green select this node and then cancel it by pressing uh, cancel or eliminating it by pressing this uh, button on menu now our figure is a little bit tangled now we have to separate and then discard this part doing this selecting two nodes break apart the uh, path with this instruction break path selected nodes we click on the disc the part we want to discard and then discard it okay so we now have to perform the same operation with a different node on a different um, copy of the uh, knot this one for the yellow okay again select the nodes this time 
um, using uh, a click and uh, a click on this on the um, two um, knots maintaining shift pressed okay again back path select the node clicking on this part and then okay now let's turn off the red uh, version the knot to be eliminated is this one and two with shift key press it one two oops sorry okay now we have the mm, basic form uh, the problem is to uh, make one uh, branch passing uh, before um, and over and then under the other uh, branch. Let's see how to make this. But um, before proceeding we have to select uh, clicking and dragging with the mouse all the uh, segment we have just created and convert to path. In fact until now they are only strokes uh, te technically strokes now we have to convert to path and uh, we can do so by clicking on our edit path by node and uh, convert select object stroke to path uh, with the keyboard shortcut control alt and c okay now we can perform some operation allow by path uh, menu in particular we will divide all the segments let's see how this can be performed perform in turn this uh, division uh, starting to say from the yellow to the red the red uh, on the um, on the green and the green on the yellow so let's select the uh, yellow branch duplicate control B then selecting the red branch and do path division now what's changed? The two um, branch are changed. So this is this maintaining is mm, the same. They remain the same. The the other is changed. Moreover, we have also um, plus uh, here that will be removed. We can do that right now. Okay. Now we um, have to um, create the same operation from uh, red to green which part of the red we choose the uh, longer part control D to duplicate and uh, green path and then division now green on the yellow and this is oops. ok this green control B on yellow path division okay uh, we have to remove the um, little part depicted here we can reach them by mm, pressing alt key and then clicking on it and then okay let's see okay okay we have our part going uh, passing over one branch and under the next branch. Okay, find the parts. How we can use the union um, operation? Keep in mind that the mm, the part, the path in uh, lower Z order, give the style to the union. So if we want this part red, we have to ensure to be sure that the red is at the bottom then select both and then path union ok now this part will become uh, mm, yellow so yellow in the bottom shift click both select path union and now green green on the bottom green or red selected path union now we have three different branch and three different color our 
basic shape is the most completed we can enlarge it by clicking the plus button let's uh, add some effect metal effect metal effect can be achieved by uh, using a dark base using this uh, well very dark base and uh, overlapping it with a very uh, light um, version of the same color of course we have to modify something we have our basic path we, sh we choose linked offset this create uh, another copy of the path inside the original so link of set okay this is our reference we put it a little bit inside we hit spacebar choose the color say pinkish this is at the bottom in z, or z order we raise it to the top okay now edit object color we add some blur and we have now our say metal effect pass the color the procedure is the same uh, what is changed is the difference of the uh, color we have a high contrast a dark red and a pink we have uh, two middle uh, level yellow let's see again path could uh, pardon no good path no path um link of offset go a little bit oops path link of set a little bit inside okay more or less this again uh, we choose uh, this yellow bring it on top and then again a uh, blur is give a uh, pass color and a shape around the shape what's happened here mm -hmm. okay now different for the glowing uh, in this case our mm, linked offset will be um, enlarged an enlarged path so path linked offset outside we choose a bright green and we it is already on the correct Z order on the bottom and then we add some effect we can uh, bring it at the top now okay that's our glowing neon object that's all sorry for some uh, little misunderstanding or error or mistakes and I hope you enjoy my tutorial.